euro dollar. I don't want to see euro dollar break the uh, 26 area. As long as 26 holds, we're good with euro dollar. I've got 20, uh, 24, 23 fills on it. In uh, here we go. Okay, now I'm moving my stop down on euro dollar. Right now, I've got no risk on that. Uh, see if I could do this here. Try to give you kind of what I'm doing on the. Let me clean this up. Give me a moment. Let me give you the other. Uh... All right, euro dollar. Here we go. Euro dollar. I just uh, got out of the final position here. So once more, I used the um, five-minute wall uh, to get in on that. And you could see we had a, a one-hour wall at 22. The five-minute was 26. I ended up getting filled at around 23, 24. Uh, so that worked out, and you can see here um, it's still looking pretty good. If you're here as a guest, uh, now would be a good time to, you know, collect all your points on that. And again, uh, you would be uh, eventually uh, taught how to do that, so don't sweat it out if you're watching and things happen really fast. But... Um, this is the thing when you're trading these conditions that it requires, you know, a lot of experience so that you don't think it, you just act. And uh, I try to articulate as I'm doing things, but it's difficult, guys. You know, as you all know, um, I'm just reacting to what the market is doing. And sometimes uh, there's no way I can articulate as fast as I'm moving. So, or thinking anyways. Anyways, the euro dollar trade worked out perfect. Um, yeah, I could have made more points out of it, but that's not what this is about. This is about, you know, making the account grow, and you make the account grow by putting points in it. Uh, we could probably use this level now to go long euro dollar. Uh, bring our stop up minus two on that, and uh, you can see how quickly again just using levels. Um, I'm collecting here. Right now, it's seven and a half points. I went long on the live account. Um, actually, that was not seven points. That was more like five points. Um, see, that's what happens. I made a mistake with the demo and the live. Okay, still, it's good. Uh, live account, uh, only five. And uh, demo account here, that's the one that you can see. Is working out really nice. If if pound dollar breaks uh, forty, then uh, yeah, it's off to the races. But it just like I said, right now, um, I would just settle. Uh, if you've made points, um, just keep practicing, but um, you know, the market right now is looking like it wants to make another strong push. Um, and across the board, you can see the dollar is, uh, is weak. So The other thing you got to be smart as a trader is once you get, um, you know, this is, you're going in the bank, you're stealing, and once you steal, don't get greedy and try to go back and steal the, the same bank, you know, five minutes later. Relax. Be patient. I, I'm, I do, during these conditions, I'll put on a lot of trades, but I get in and out quickly. And as you can see, sometimes I'd rather take my, uh, my five points, let's say, than sometimes if I try to uh, uh, adjust my, my uh, stops, by the, you know, and I'm at negative or, or, or I'm back at break even and it stops me out. So, a lot of times what I'll do is as soon as I hit my protect button and I see the uh, and I place my order, um, by the time I'm going to readjust it, a lot of times the trade's already gone, you know, traveled enough points that I, I get out. And then if I can leave something running, great. But uh, that's the one thing under these conditions, you got to be really, really fast, you know. You got to be really, really fast. So 
Uh, you know, this is kind of how I do. You're seeing the uh, demo on pound dollar right now. Um, I already bailed out of pound dollar. I'm flat on the live account. You know, so I, and I just keep accumulating points like that. You know, too often traders just you, you know you you all get caught up on on wanting to uh, you know break the bank and uh, the bank's going to break you if you keep if you should kind of stay with that kind of mindset you know yeah here you see I buy immediately I clicked it five times I have my my one lot and then if you know as I bail out I can do the same thing I can start scaling out. You know, as as the trade works in my favor, I can start scaling out. Um, and like I said, you know, your stops and your limits are, are already kind of there. So, you know, yeah, see like right now, okay, I want to click out. I just clicked out of six positions. In other words, uh, 60,000, I'm still holding 40. You know, I can come in here now, adjust my stop, make my stop, you know, put it at break even. You see how quickly I actually put in two points of, uh, I locked in two pro, two points. And, and this is, you know, if you notice here, same thing with dollar, look how quickly I can maneuver. And this is how I can trade sometimes two and three currencies at the same time. Now, I don't advise you guys to do that. Okay. I always want you to focus on one, but sometimes that's, I'm doing that over here. I'm trying to articulate what I'm doing, trying to teach and at the same time, try to manage three different currencies that I'm in. Um, and I do get carried away because the software allows me to do that. But I can sometimes, uh, you know, as I say, do it, do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> but um, all right, I cashed out, I made my points here. Same thing. I could cash out, make my points, and done.